I'd shed a tear, but I'm sure we'll be chatting again. I'd shed a tear, but I'm sure we'll be chatting again. Not now, we got bigger problems. Have a seat, and then we'll talk. The Sierra Madre. Mm, beauty, isn't she? She the one who invited you here? Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. Woke up confused like some of the others. Least you're still breathing. By the way, don't get up or make any sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable that chair gets. The cushion's just for show. Hold the wires, Dean. Talk about being a second stringer. You have that sad, questioning look in your eye. Not sure talking to me is going to make it any better. Didn't think much of our chances. Now I'm thinking I was wrong. What's the next step? Well, now, if it isn't my ball, chain, and dog collar rolled all into one. Was that him floating above the fountain, the boss man? The one who put these bow ties on our necks? Sure does like to make a presentation. We should keep it down or else the ghost people are going to swarm the gates. Vera hologram or no. I'll hold up my end, don't you worry. We get to the Sierra Madre, it'll be a different tune, trust me. So, this is where I'm supposed to put on the show. Played better venues, let me tell you. What's that there? Wiring? Looks? Looks like it's tied to the sound system in the villa. Except for that snipped section there. So, what? I stand here, hold the two ends in my hands and tap them together like symbols? So you showed. Felt the collar start kicking again as soon as the elevator doors rattled open. Think you're going to upstage me here at the Sierra Madre? I don't think so. Now that I'm inside, well, I don't need you anymore. Finally, a friendly face. Hey, partner, up here. They're in a bit of a predicament here. Had to duck backstage, take a powder. The audience is a little... Murderous tonight. All right, you're resourceful. I'll give you that. It's going to take a lot more than juggling keys and shooting speakers to stop me. As I see it, all I need to do is kill you, then make a run for the exit. You do the same. You'll be clawing at the lock until your head blows off. So maybe you and I should have a little chat, just like we did when you first waltzed into town. Oh, those electric ghosts aren't the kind of audience I like at the best of times. At least the ones in the villa had manners. Don't even know how I ended up here. Guess the casino still recognizes guests, even after all this time, huh? <laughs> How's that for history? Not going to be performing here again, that's for sure. This place is a dump. Lousy acoustics. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In the middle of town here, alone... On a rooftop with a big light show in the air? Tell you what, why don't you just find one of those cosmic steak knives so I can slit my wrists? Be less painful checking out that way. Yeah, now, talk about a captive audience or captive entertainer. Ah, whatever. I know what's out there. It's why I've planted a minefield, shotguns and explosives all the way on the road to my little boudoir here. So we go together or we're not going at all. I'll split my hand in blackjack when the time's right. I'm not splitting up in this town, trust me. You don't listen too good, do you? Makes me think whatever you have to say isn't worth my time. Not leaving me much choice. The fountain, huh? Hope the hologram's still working and the battery's running strong. I'll follow you. I'm not going alone, trust me. Not like I'm a coward or anything. I'm not running around town without an escort. I'm serious. One of the locals catches us. We aren't coming back. And I'd like to keep an eye on you. That's an interesting clause. That's a real bad contract you have. We have. That's a good point. All right. Let me grab some smokes and I'll meet you at the fountain. What are you talking about? The hand's been dealt. That's the deal. You going along with my terms? Or do you want your brains to be wallpaper? 
Sounds like you've done some blue-collar construction work in your life. Your ma must be proud. Still, butt is right. That heart-shaped charge in the stuffing will cause just the right amount of bleeding. And that's what I've missed, a rapt audience. All right, all right, but you already got company, so tell you what. I'll meet you at the fountain. All right, partner. Christ, if that collar blows, I don't know if you'd know the difference. You'd probably still keep walking around with that dumb, blank look. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. <laughs> all right, all right. Looks like marriage finally caught me. I'm listening, partner. What's next if we're death till we part? Get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far through your head it'll turn the moon cherry pie red. So, let's keep this sweet and polite and finish our conversation with no misunderstanding. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. I want out of this contract. And if you put me in it, I'm not going to be too happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. Oh, of course you do. Now it's like we're married with these big wedding rings around our necks. So why don't you hear my proposal first, before you start talking about what you need? Great. A moron. Just what I need. Look, that uh, seat you're sitting in? It's a bomb. Go boom. Wait, wait. Wait just a minute. I'm not walking out there on my own. That's so. Might be a bit rude, but that chair you're sitting in, it's got a shaped charge in the seat cushion. Always had the Sierra Madre to keep my mind occupied. Most folks, they don't have the same drive, the same need. Not worth my time. Pretty much ghost people before the bomb, now ghost people after. Called it self-sufficient, like he was doing the residents a favor. Right. Of course you do. Let's hear them. Well, you seem like you know how to handle yourself. All right. Once I fired a lucky shot, hit a gas tank one was holding, blew his arm off at the shoulder, and he didn't get back up after that. So if you're that good, don't aim for the head, aim for their bombs. And if you can wait until his buddies are close by, even better. Yeah, well, probably is something a gambler says, not a survivor. I'd keep your pistol where it belongs, in the holster. Yeah, well, machines like those weren't unusual before the bomb. Maybe to you they're amazing. To me, they're grifters without the personality. All right, keep it short. We don't have a lot of time. Friend. There's more mysteries in heaven and earth. Wait, no. There is more between heaven and earth. Oh, forget it. I'd sooner ask what makes me an undying son of a bitch than spend any thought as to why they crawl to life here. I'm counting myself lucky. I still have my faculties. They sure don't. Then again, they may not have had the focus I do. Alive's a tricky word. The locals, the ghost people, not sure it applies to them. They're a little uncivilized. They don't talk much, as in at all. Whatever we do, don't rile them up. Normally there's only a few, maybe a pack. There's more out there, a lot more. If they find out someone's trespassing, it'd be shaking a hornet's nest. Don't want to think how many of them could fill these streets. You shoot them, they get back up. You stab them, they get back up. That's why I have explosives all over this place. Unless you blow them up, chop them up, disintegrate them, 
The ghost people don't go down. Not enough bullets in the town to spend on them. So unless you're a real good shot, save one for yourself right before they catch you. Sinclair made sure if you spent money here, it went one direction. Although that's not how he described it. Around. Don't have much use for them myself. Not worth the risk to get them. I got all the basics covered as long as I have the chips to pay for them. I don't need much. Residential area, clinic, police station. Should keep away from the police station. It's a ghost people hangout. Salida del Sol, Puesta del Sol are east town, west town. Sunrise and sunset. Or were when the streets and sky weren't covered with toxic gas. Ghost people don't come into the villa much. West Town and East Town, though, they're thick with the cloud and ghost people, like hunting grounds. The cloud showed up after the bomb, I think. I got used to it in small doses. Now it covers the city. Over the years, it kept climbing up out of the Sierra Madre until it was curtains for the sun. Didn't see the sky again. Doesn't seem to bother the ghost people. Can't see through it too well, though, so sometimes I can use the cloud for cover. If I get desperate. Those little company stores. Sinclair's toy boxes. Put in the casino chip. Get a treat. Like you're some dog doing tricks. Take any of the casino chips, put them into the machine, and you'll get something out. A snack, a cola, something to mend a tear in your shirt. Sometimes you have to know exactly what to ask for. Other times there's codes for, uh, unconventional items, for emergencies. Tried talking to them, bribing them, leaving food, nothing. In the years since, they haven't changed their approach, but I sure have. They catch you, they drag you into the cloud, and you're not coming back out. After that, having your necktie go off would be mercy. My advice? Stay out of their way. They don't die easy. If it's an emergency, you can get chems for any, uh, condition. Sinclair left that for doctors and trained professionals, not the common folk. Even security and maintenance could get special supplies out of them. Staff had codes on little cards they could use to unlock them. It's your time, and if you want to spend it chatting, not much I can do about it. Have a seat. Came all this way. Least I can do is let you rest your feet for a second. Just sit there on my little casting couch. More a chair, really, but I prefer up-and-comers to relax when I interview them. You're my guest. If you're going to be rude, you can show yourself out. Probably won't tap dance no more when you leave, but that's on you. You standing there is making me nervous. Sit down, will you? Have a seat. You took it was spring, the way tourists keep rolling in. Well, that one's got a head on their shoulders. For now. Hope that tourist is hurrying. Haven't got all day. At least this one seems like a straight shooter. Or sucker. That tourist crosses me, they'll regret it. Even if they don't, they still might. Should never have set that radio signal on repeat. You think I'm the bad guy here? I'm not the one slapping bomb collars on innocent folks and flicking the switch. And I'm not stabbing you in the back. I was facing you all the time. This heist, I planned it lifetimes ago. You and that old man... Tourists. Look, I'm more about the short goodbyes than long, thankful speeches. But I appreciate you bailing me out of a tight spot there, partner. I know you didn't do it out of the goodness of your heart. So let me give you something a little more practical. A way we both come out ahead. No, I'm not. I'll get out in time. You won't. Once I kill you... Exit stage left, and my collar will go quiet. Stupid? No, playing it smart. You're the dumb one, waltzing in here without realizing who the headliner is. 
time for a little show. I'll just grab a seat and watch how this plays out from backstage. Security can handle it from here. I know you didn't do it out of the goodness of your heart, so instead of empty words and a flourish, let me give you something more useful. All she had to do was get inside the Sierra Madre for the gala, then use her voice to open the door. After that, smooth sailing would have been the biggest heist in history. Sinclair left holding the bag, ruined. Then she can make some beautiful music. I'm not banking on it. There's a private elevator, Sinclair's elevator. It's up in the executive suites in Vera's room. Not a coincidence, Vera. She was my other partner before the bomb. Took some legwork. Some convincing made it happen. No, that I still had to figure out. Still do. Sinclair wrote stuff down, was obsessive about it. Just got to find where. Go, knock yourself out. I'm just going to catch my breath a bit. That performance, well, more pressure than I was expecting. Do to me. What, weren't you listening? He thought he was better than me. Don't believe me? Look around. This big casino. This big, colossal monument. Think it was for some woman? No. All ego. All self-righteous in lights. Fit him perfect. Had to take him down a few pegs. Bring him down to my level. Begin again? Some things you don't get up from. I was going to prove it. Problem? All high and mighty, lording it over everyone, acting so self-righteous, like nothing could touch him. He was the one with the problem. Never got mad at anything, nothing seemed to shake him. Even after his life kept getting dragged through the dirt. Always kept looking for the bright, shining future in everything. So... I decided to take everything from him. Sinclair was already puppy-eyed, so all I had to do was the introductions. She smiled, fluttered her eyes, showed a little leg, and he built this whole place for her, made her the key to his vault, like a joke, cause of her name. Her fake Hollywood name. Except Sinclair didn't know I'd been there first. I could twist her whatever direction I wanted. The bomb. Vera got sealed in here. A few hundred years go by, give or take. Almost the end of the story. Then you came along. Now we finish the job. Rob the Sierra Madre, rip out its heart. Last chapter of Frederick Sinclair. Close the book. I didn't know at first. Then the old man showed up. You showed up. Then that woman showed up, covered in scars. The one who makes all the hand signs, a little tight around the corners of her mouth. I put her in the clinic, tuned her like an instrument. If she heals up, it's not going to be her voice speaking anymore. That is, if the Sierra Madre didn't get her. If it did, well, there's enough of Vera around for me to spend a few years piecing a book together. Elevators up in the executive suites. Voice activated. Speak the right phrase in the right tone of voice, and it's open sesame. I was able to snag the voice, or thought I had. The right tone and phrasing, well, that may take some time. I'm not an idiot. 
I know the reason I'm in here now is because of the old guy. And you. And you're wearing a collar, so I trust you a little more than the old guy. He's more controlling than I'd like. Thing is, here's where being my partner pays off. See, I know how to get into the casino vault. So here's the short of it. Piece together Little Miss Viriki's song in the right order. Sierra Madre opens its legs with in business. I only saw her yesterday. Well, a few yesterdays. Yeah, the woman, the starlet, Vera, her voice. Didn't realize there were so many holotapes of her still around otherwise. Oh, never mind. There's a picture. A bunch of headless saps all waiting for the pearly gates. Whoever did this messed up. You sure came a long way to rob this place. Guess greed is in the blood. Good, good. Then we're in business. I may be a betting man, but I like it when the odds are in our favor. If you're here with who I think, then I'd rather have you on my side than his. And it's in the hole. You want to live, I want what's in the madre. Real simple. Holy Mary, Mother and Joe, now there's a show. Not much time to get to the gates before they shut the door and turn folks away. All right now, I'm out of here. If the ghost people didn't know we were here before, they know now. Someone struck up the band. A band of tortured cats. What kind of casino has two grand openings? This is your last hurrah, Sinclair. I promise you. Just my luck. Luck's finally shining down on me. You wait, beautiful. Keep that gate open for me. Dean'll be there soon. Sierra Madre, sweetheart. Dean's coming home. We'll see who's holding the cards in the end. Didn't come all this way to get conned by some tourist. The joke's on you, partners. You aren't getting to the prize without me. Oh, this is a fine how do you do. Should have blown up that seat cushion right when they sat down. Would have been a better end than this. Just finish the last job, Dean. It's all you've wanted. Just hang in there. Keep your head down, Dean. Don't let the locals see you. Town's going to be filled with ghosts when the sky lights up. Place is going to be swarming with the masks when the sky lights up. Sinclair, you better appreciate all I do to screw you over. That tourist is better than most. Mm, probably won't matter. The linked collars is a new trick. Can't say I like it much. Waiting for the fireworks. Just like last time. Can't wait to see their faces when they find out what the lock is. Just gotta wait them out. Don't have to take the long way back. There's a shortcut across the way, you see? It's through the cloud, but if I'm with you, I can help you through it. If you didn't already force the lock to the gate, that is. Oh, looks like you already forced the gate. Now, everybody and their mother can walk right in. Thanks. What, you need surgery done? Let's get out of here. Those speakers on the wall are making my nerves do a dance. Watch for hologram security. Not as nice as the lady at the fountain, trust me. What are we doing here? We're not going to find a doctor on call at this hour, trust me. Place is haunted. Got ghosts walking in it. Oh, it'll light up the casino. Light up the sky. Set the speakers in the villa to play beautiful, soothing music. And when I say soothing music, I mean with the speakers being the state they are, things will be screaming all right. Think air raid sirens. That means it'll wake up everything in town like a hornet's nest. Not sure what a hornet is? Forget it. Basically trouble. No, looks like a rooftop in Puesta del Sol. In better days, nice view. Now... It's the last place anyone wants to stand when this event goes off. That place during spring, summer and fall, a little bit in winter, is a prime resort spot for ghost people. Not the best of neighborhoods. 
If we're going there, I'm not going alone. And if you have any bright ideas about telling me to stroll over there, or leave me there, no thanks. Well, considering my life's on the line too, yeah, a few things. First off, keep everyone together. Keep checking behind you. Make sure your partners are following. Don't let them wander. Also, don't go running crazy everywhere. Almost every inch of this town is lethal. So if you're not sure, take it real slow. And speaking of slow, don't go shouting or attracting attention. Go quiet. The ghost people find you. It's over. Tourists, you bet. They don't stay long, and they don't stay alive long. If they survive the cloud, the ghost people, the traps, then greed takes over, and they start sizing each other up for funeral suits. The clinic? Yeah, I did bring her in. Before the gala, well, before the first gala event, a few lifetimes ago. She was a stress case, throat was shot, all nerves, when she wasn't doped up on medics or super-stimming her pain away. Look, never mind. I don't want to speak bad about her. She was a classy woman, good singer, and if she couldn't act her way out of a box, she was Sinclair's world, and that's all that mattered. He didn't need to know any of that, any of her history. Dead. Either got killed by one of the villa's attractions, locals, or the beautiful weather. Can tell you right now, they didn't stick close to each other, and when they did, they let down their guard at the wrong moment. Some left signposts to others trying to help them out. Just led to them getting killed by someone a little more greedy than they were. Yeah, the Sierra Madre's last song one only a few people are ever going to hear. A little sad, but what can you do? Christine, that her name? Nice name. I mean, you can't see it on posters, but never mind. I don't know. She might need to hold some place where speaking isn't important. Like stage tech? Lighting? Got me. And me? I've had prime billing in Europe, New York... And this gig doesn't feel like that. Don't get me wrong. I can hold an audience, conduct a score from the rooftops, but I'm guessing I'm the odd man out in this whole heist. Partner, I'm not sure this guy's operating with a full deck. My bet? Process of elimination. Lowest common denominator. He figures the strong man's needed somewhere, even if it sounds like the strong man's two minds about it. Plus, I'm guessing wherever old doggy boys needed doesn't need smarts. I hope not. Or were royally jonesed. Vera was a big star back before the bomb. Not the best actress, but, well, she had other talents. Nice voice, nice legs. For some reason, Sinclair, he built this place. She caught his eye. Once he was hooked, that was it. Had to have her. So made the introductions and guess what? He builds this place for her like some kind of Cleopatra obsession. Wasn't always a death trap. Well, Vera's beautiful voice doesn't run on casino power exactly. Her broadcast is tied into the emergency broadcast signal for the Sierra Madre. You know, in case of attack. Well, guess what? The night of the gala event, the emergency signal went out all right. But because the broadcast had been hooked up to the gala event, instead of an emergency signal, you get Vera's voice on the radio. Great, huh? Sure. First they figure they can get out, escape. Then they start thinking it over, start thinking about how they can have it all. They start weighing the odds, taking risks, and then taking each other out. Bomb collars are not. Although, it's odd. The bomb collars weren't linked before like they are now. Guess someone learned what the problem was. Yeah, don't you? Or 
guess where the keys got lost along with the rest of the hollow archives when the bomb hit, huh? Ghost in name and image. Still a looker, though. Got to hand it to Sinclair. Sure can pick him. Well, or get picked. Whichever. Of course. What? Some kind of surprise to you that I knew people once? Used to have my name in lights, all right? Knew a dozen Vera's or whatever her name was. Uh, Villa Keys. Figured I could pay Sinclair back. Introduce the two. Guy was a slouch in the dame department. Had to pick up the slack somehow. Supposed to be the grand opening of the Sierra Madre. Lots of lights, music, the works. And he's going to use the gala event to open the casino? But that's interesting. Little Miss Silence? Maybe she needs to be in some place where she can be seen, but being heard isn't important. Yeah. Maybe the drain in power. That'll cause the security systems to shut down enough to let us in. But getting back out? No, the place will close up tighter than an opening at the fronds. Or Danny Parker's sphincter when he has to tip a doorman. Interesting. In the sense that having some light show open the Sierra Madre? Interesting to me. Who would have thought? Right, look. So not everything about the villa was the pinnacle of bright ideas. In order to pull off the gala, old Sinclair had to get creative. The Sierra Madre announcement, for example. Not just for the casino, not at all. The gala's tied to the casino, draws on its power. Might cause it to reset itself, open the doors for a bit like it was supposed to. Hey, those are my emergency supplies. Uh, I, I mean, I know we're in a bad spot here. Just uh, leave me something, all right? Yeah, go on, help yourself. Why not? Leave me something, will you? Never should have left those stupid handprints. Dead giveaway. Odd man out. Dead weight. Someone you need holding the toolbox, the nurse passing the scalpel, the chauffeur driving you to the concert. Any guy with hands is who he needs up on that rooftop. Guess he thinks I don't rate looking like I do. Poor him. Unless he's got a friend, no dice. Nobody relies on a single escape route unless they want to get caught. Guess we're going the long way around. Looks like we'll have to go through this pea soup. I can get you across. <coughs> See, that <coughs> wasn't so bad, was it? Forget that walking stomach. Not interested in being his lunch. Just glad the girl's all right. Where is she? Is she here? Wait, no. If the Sierra Madre assigned people to floors, she's got to have been sent to Vera's room, right? That's irony for you. Perfect. Couldn't have worked out better. It's safe, I hope. Right now, let's focus on getting everyone else to safety, all right? Everybody else, all right? All right. Even if they all end up dead, though, you say there's a way to recover the song from the Sierra Madre archives. Just set up links to each floor, then use the lobby terminal to tie it all together? Easy. Just a little legwork. You know, people can still surprise me. All right, I believe you. You got spine. Guess the bombs left a little human goodwill behind. Blackmail is such a strong word. I asked her, she said yes, then she started to get cold feet. I blame Sinclair. He was such a victim that maybe she felt it would be too easy. It doesn't matter. Figures. Wish he'd show himself, although I'm betting he's not doing that until we've cracked the vault. That means we'll still need a copy of the song to get into the vault. And after all, I went through to smuggle a copy inside. Wait, you said this guy wanted you to deal with all of us first. What? Is everyone else here? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Go on ahead. I'm going to try and unwind. Figures. 
Wish he'd show himself, although I'm betting he's not doing that until we've cracked the vault. That means we'll still need a copy of the song to get into the vault. And after all, I went through to smuggle a copy inside. Wait, you said this guy wanted you to deal with all of us first. What? Is everyone else here? Dead? After all I went through? After all that hauling her body through the streets? Really, partner. Now, now, you can't pull one over on Dean. But you tried, didn't you? So you don't want to share. Keep her from me, huh? All we have to do is make us sing, and it's all ours. Although, why lie to me? I'm hurt. I mean, we don't even need her if you get the terminals live and the music kicking. Dead? For the love of... Chopping up her voice box was a gamble anyway. So much for backup plans. Still, there's a way to recover the song from the Sierra Madre archives, right? Just set up links to each floor, then use the lobby terminal. Do I have to spell it out? Come on. Time's wasting, and those holograms are going to be on us any second. And here I thought I was being clever. Teach me to hold my cards a little closer to the chest. Whole heist was a gamble anyway. Still, there's a way to recover the song from the Sierra Madre archives, right? Just set up links to each floor, then use the lobby terminal. Well, yeah, in the villa. But I have one inside, too. We can talk about that later, though. It's not important right now. You came for me. Any sign of the others? It's safe, I hope. Right now, let's focus on getting everyone else to safety, all right? Everybody else, all right? All right. Well, thanks for bailing me out. Sinclair built this whole town to accommodate her. Same with the casino's voice lock. He wanted to make sure she had access to everything. And since I already had access to Vera, well, that meant I had access to the vault, too. So what? You're heading to the main terminal now that you've got this floor unlocked? Dead? For the love of... Chopping up her voice box was a gamble anyway. So much for backup plans. Yeah? A little bit of too real memories? We're here to steal from the Sierra Madre, not from each other. Forget that walking stomach, not interested in being his lunch. Just glad the girl's all right. Where is she? Is she here? Wait, no. If the Sierra Madre assigned people to floors, she's got to have been sent to Vera's room, right? That's irony for you. Perfect. Couldn't have worked out better. So, what? You're heading to the main terminal now that you've got this floor unlocked? What? Are you sure? That song. That stupid song of hers. No, that makes perfect sense. And it was always playing here in the casino. Damn it! If I'd only brought a recording inside. So, what? You're trying to recover it? At least you're honest. Can't blame you. I'd have done the same if there was a trigger to my head or a collar on my neck. Way I figured it, you'll try and run for the exit. And only I know where the key is and where the safest place in the whole theatre is. Backstage. You, you're trapped down there and you couldn't shut off the speakers, unlock the doors or cancel security if you tried. What? What now? Try and come back here? No, you belong out in the audience. I mean, not like, uh, you could get backstage. That key you snagged, it won't work. I'm not a betting man. I've come too far to leave it to chance. Of all the... Where the hell are those stupid holograms already? Even if you get back here, you won't live long, trust me. Didn't see anyone come in. Well, they'll be here soon. And go on, run for the exit door. This will be fun to watch. Oh, I'm not going to fight you. I'm going to let security show you out. Didn't see anyone come in? Well, 
They'll be here soon. No, no, the collars. I know what happened now. Sure, mine activated, but it feels different, the electronic tap dance inside. I can kill you and still make it out while security is busy frying you to a crisp. Hands are clean, then smooth sailing to the Sierra Madre. No, I know how the collars behave now, in here anyway. At least the Sierra Madre gave me that. I should be thankful, and second, it'll give me another gift. With any luck, security will leave enough of your ashes for an urn on my mantle. No, no, no. I'm not leaving this spot. Why dirty my hands when the Sierra Madre can kill you for me? Real funny. Although, you know, after your collar talk in the residential area, I believe you. Well, yeah. You got a point. Trust you. Right. You're not the one who has to sit up here and wait for the ghost people to show. Wait. Hold on. I didn't say I was scared. <laughs> Cold feet. Don't be ridiculous. I've played to worse crowds than this. I can hold the fort here. You powered the holograms up? Well, yeah, that's pretty good protection. Shaw sure worked at the fountain. Vera kept the ghost people away. But uh, how do I know the power won't suddenly go out? And I don't know. This still sounds risky to me. For me. You wouldn't. You need me to strike up the sparking cords there. Breaking my legs isn't any way to get me to dance. Oh, right. After all, the will both blow up if you don't do as I say talk we first had. Not put me in danger. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You didn't have to switch on those holograms, and you did. Even when you first showed up in the villa, you didn't threaten me. We're just willing to cooperate to get through this. <laughs> well, yeah. You got a point. What do I want? I want a little more insurance than some old-world villa construction to guard me, all right? What? You wouldn't. I mean... No, wait, you would. You don't bluff ever since you first showed up in the villa and we chatted. No, you wouldn't. You're not the type. Even when you first showed up in the villa, you didn't threaten me. You just let me talk, not even letting on that our collars were linked, when all you had to do was tell me that to get me to come along. So, no, I don't think you'll shut them off. You don't threaten people, not your way. Unless he's got a friend, no dice. Nobody relies on a single escape route unless they want to get caught. Sure, nice words, nice promises. Not worth a dime out here in the shadow of the Sierra Madre. You say you wouldn't leave me here, I know better. And you leave me here. This gala event isn't going to happen, I can feel it. You can look all you want. I still feel safer with a pair of hologram escorts to make it through the area. No, you're not the type, but accidents happen, good intentions or no. Really? That wasn't the we're both bomb married talk you gave me when we first met. Look, you could offer me a steel-clad contract for a world tour of all major cities with imperial records. I still wouldn't stay here. Unless you get some hologram guards lit up in the courtyard below? No, Dice. I still need to eat. At least I think I do. The villa provides, even if it's not as glamorous as the Cantina Madrid. Once I, well, realized what you could scrounge up around here, I had a lot of time to experiment. Not the best chef, but, well, here's the mix, if you can stomach it. I call it a Sierra Madre Martini. Why? Survival. I still needed to leave the residential area to scrounge up supplies, and I don't like taking chances. The villa's dangerous. 
so I left weapons and stims in case I got in a tight spot. And of course you show up putting your mitts on everything. I suppose this qualifies as an emergency, so I'm not complaining. Much. Scrape some cloud residue off the walls, mash it in a tin can with some junk food from the machines, then hold your nose and down it. There's electric hot plates around if you can't find a campfire to mix it at. Also, there's other recipes you can do with the cloud residue, although it might take a hardier survivalist than me to brew them. I stick to martinis. Better make sure he's dead. Poke him with a stick or something. Not one for fighting, if we can avoid it. Still wasn't bad at the pistol range, and over the years I've learned how to handle a knife. And explosives a bit. A bit. Made a lot of mistakes along the way. Still have my fingers, though. I can take a chump like you, even if I didn't have eight lives lined up behind me, and a rising soundtrack. So, put your dancing shoes on. Let's go. Sure glad one of us knows what you're doing. You know, this used to be a nice town. Well, nice enough. The police station. Ghost people love this place. No idea why. Might be the holograms nearby. Those machines. Sinclair's little gifts. Lasted longer than he did. If you need food, stims, put in a chip. Hold out your hand. You are preaching to the choir. Sinclair and his security don't even get me started. Those holograms... Look, I'm in danger here, all right? Not exactly thinking with a level head, so cut me some slack. Please, trust me. As soon as you can, run to the door to the left. Use the key you got out of the music rag there and camp out. As bad as things are, it's going to get a lot worse if either of us pops. So get backstage. Until we get a better plan. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. When you get the door open, there'll be an exit door dead ahead. Don't take it. It's most likely filled with toxins from the vents, so hug the wall. Make as much space between you and the door, or it's cloud nine in a casket. Not much help against the ghost. Still, if you're about to give up, call it quits. Throw it to me so I can eat a bullet first. Past that is my dressing room. Under the table, there's a footlocker. It's tucked back a bit, so you might miss it. Inside, a gun, some ammo. Anything else? I've told you all I can think of. Now, come on, get going. Guess Vera echoes down through the ages, then. Sierra Madre hasn't completely forgotten her. So that's why you showed... You wanted what was in the music archives on this floor. Hook up the signal. Nice. What wasn't I blackmailing her with? Chemus, indiscretions, more chemus. The usual Hollywood tune. Like Sinclair, people are the architects of their own misfortunes. Leave themselves wide open for someone to waltz right in and take what they want. As long as they take a single step into the trap, get a few pictures, get a little dirt, and that person's your piano. Vera? Med X was her thing. Even super-stimmed herself for the after-rush. Sick. Dead? For the love of... This whole heist was a gamble anyway. So much for backup plans. Figured that out, huh? Clever. Because she could get closer to Sinclair than I ever could. He built this place for her. Well, after the two chanced to meet. That's... Hmm, never mind. Doesn't change anything. The Sierra Madre is still waiting for us to crack it open. All right, all right, look. I'll hand it over, I promise. No need to get all upset. We can both come out ahead in this. What? Hey, hey, now, uh, wait, I... I'll oh, forget it. 
Time for the hard way. I waited an entire lifetime, sitting in that villa, watching it all fall apart. Sinclair's Sierra Madre towering over everything, untouched. Then you show up, thinking you can just take it all from me, you and the old man running the show. I planned all this. I made it all happen, not you. Sure, yeah, I have the key on me. I made other keys, too, to unlock the casino in ruin Sinclair, finally. After all these years. No. Now, now I think ruining you and all your plans would be enough for me. Kill me, I still win. You're never getting in the vault. Look, I give you this key, and there's nothing to keep you from just killing me and running. And as I see it, I just gave up my ace in the hole. So the only chance I've got left is making sure you don't leave. And there's no way in hell I'm letting you get to the Sierra Madre vault instead of me. Not after all this time. If I remember correctly, there should be two holograms you can switch on in the area. Just don't remember how. Do that, and I'll consider waiting on the rooftop. Maybe. What? What are you talking about? No, you want to know why? Because there's more beneath the streets, in the buildings, and now everywhere else. They hear anything out of the ordinary, especially music screaming through the speakers when I close the connection. They'll be here fast. Well, yeah. You got a point. Really? You're not the one standing up here, waiting for the ghost people to show, all right? Take? It's not going to take anything, because you couldn't offer me anything to stay here. The ghost people will come out of the woodwork when the gala event starts blaring, and when they see me trapped up here, it's curtains for Dean. In the middle of town here? Alone? On a rooftop with a big light show in the air? Tell you what, why don't you just give me one of those space-age cosmic knives so I can slit my wrists, be less painful checking out that way. Really? You don't strike me as the type, especially after our little how-can-I-cooperate chat at my home. Stinks down here, and I can barely smell anything, like a toxic ashtray down here. Find a way to get this place hopping again, would clean all the toxic gas out of Puesta del Sol. Going to be sad to leave the residential district? Well, not really. Shaw left a lot of traps around. Sometimes I forget where they are. As worse as the other places are, this section of town is the most dangerous. If I ever had to come here, I stuck to the overhangs and roofs, like sidewalks up there. What are we doing in here? Planning to toss me in a cell? Never liked the chief here. Real stickler for policy. Made off with a lot of mines, shotguns, and explosives from here. Wasn't easy with the ghost people around. No idea. Woke up here, thought I was dreaming for a second. Right back on the stage, the mic. Thought I was back at the fronds. Well, except no audience used to pack theatres back then. So, stepped up on the stage, checked things out. Then suddenly, holograms walked out of the wings. They started raising their hands to their heads, all creepy-like. Not a good sign. When in doubt, step quiet and watch where you step. Where there's a bear trap, ghost people aren't far behind. Watch out if you see a prize lying around. The ghost people leave supplies as traps. Getting real tired of tourist season. No offense, but you guys are lowering the bar. Cloud wasn't always here. Grew over the years, even without cars or factories. Sierra Madre's not getting any younger. Sierra Madre may wait, not me. What's next? We're not heading to the police station, are we? Ghost people hunt there. Sinclair's little surgery carts. Kept them around for his lady friend. The speakers are all controlled by a central console. It's the farthest from the only door out of here, 
so you'd need to do a full circuit of the corridor to get to it. Once there, you'll need to shut it down, and I don't have the code. If you have the code, you can turn off all the speakers, make them settle down. Getting backstage should buy us time. Just take it slow. Uh, let's see. Um, once you break right, watch each turn in the corridor. One will be on your right, past my dressing room, and up. Oh, uh, my dressing room. May have left the radio on, right by the table. Uh, if you could just shut it off instead of blowing it a... Uh, never mind. And there was a speaker in the prop room, too, on the wall between the entrances. And, well, walk slow. There's bound to be more. Look, those ghosts are going to come out of the wings behind you in a second. The security types, not the friendly, bald types. And if you got in here, the door's probably locked tight behind you. So don't back up or run for the exit. You're not going to make it. Good. Go. And don't get yourself killed. Do that and we're both done. Look, just get rid of them, all right? Tried to slip off stage, then they all started changing colour and raising their hands. Not a good sign. Yeah, yeah, so what? We got bigger problems with the holograms. No, uh, no, wait, you're right. The theatre piped music and sound backstage, which means those little squealers are in the corridors back there, too. What about them? The speakers won't kill you if you leave them alone. Don't worry about them. Just get backstage. Yeah, yeah, right. So, let's see. Security's here because the show hasn't started. Guests aren't allowed in, so... Guess we need to start the show. <clears throat> OK, so when they were setting this place up, we had rehearsals, and uh, <laughs> Sinclair even set up hologram recordings of the shows so we could watch and critique our performances before a fake audience. Whatever. Thing is, when the recording queued up, a nice, calm, appreciative audience appeared in the theatre. No security with their head-blasting zap rays. So, find the music, get it to the projector room upstairs, then play it. Might reset security. Worth a shot. One thing at a time, and buying time is what we need, all right? Think in the now. It'll sort itself out. I hope. The holotape should be where I left it. No, no wait. It's, uh, it's in Vera's dressing room, probably. May, may be a key to her room on my desk. Well, sometimes Vera used to watch from the projection booth, so she must have had a master key. Look around her room. Might be there. Anyway, snag the key out of my room and look around Vera's room. The holotape has to be there. As for getting it to the projection booth... What? Oh, uh, my left. Your right. So, yeah, run to the door on your right. <laughs> Almost got you killed there. Us killed there. Right, the locked door to the left. Watch out, the guards are going to materialize in any second. Crouch and take it slow. Good, go, and don't get yourself killed. Do that and we're both done. Just like all the rest, strolling in here, thinking you own the place. I've been here longer than any of you tourists. Trust me, I'm letting you off easier than the Sierra Madre ever would. Nobody's going to miss you. Whoever you are, your old news. It's a shame. I regret it. Still, you dames are all the same. Things get a little hot. You get cold feet. That's why I'm still alive. You? Well, what are you talking about? Medical report? Vera wasn't... The medics and superstims. And here I thought she was trying to numb herself to the lights. Sinclair must have known, though. He was dense, not in that way. But that doesn't make any sense. If she was sick, dying, then why build this place? Why start a damn casino and have her be the lock? You don't just stop robbing casinos, do you? What's that tape? Oh, the one with Sinclair's woman, Vera. What about it? 
You want me to give you a standing ovation? Always asking questions when you should be shooting. You're a piece of work, I'll give you that. Lucky guess. You sure about that? Because if you make a mistake, well, Sierra Madre's got us both. Yeah, you're a gambler. Me, I don't take chances. Trust me, only one of us has a sure out. Look, I strike up the speaker system. There's going to be ghosts all over this place. Any change in the sounds around here? Uh, the ghost people are not big on talking. They are big on listening. Hunting. Killing. More vicious than music critics, trust me. You wouldn't. No, yeah, you would. I would, if I thought you screaming wouldn't attract more of the locals. All right, I'll stay here for now. But you leave me high and dry, make a run for the Sierra Madre, you'll pay for it, I promise you. <laughs> you got a point. You better not let me down. Try and get into the Sierra Madre without me. You'll wish you hadn't. All right, look, if the holograms are here to keep me company, then I don't mind staying here for a while. But listen, when this thing goes off, try and get into the Sierra Madre without me. You'll wish you hadn't. You're full of it. You kill me, we both die. You wouldn't dare. So you leaving me here? No dice, not going to happen, and nothing you can say will change my mind. Well, safely? Around here, that word doesn't come cheap. Safely? What? After your sweet and ruthless talk when we first met, now you care about my safety? Right. Well, yeah. If the hologram system still worked, that'd do the trick. Okay, all right. You call up some of those old-world stiffs. That'd be an audience I wouldn't mind having below. Yeah, and how can you guarantee that? I'm not waiting here alone, trust me. I mean, if I had a few of those holograms, or a few hundred surrounding me, maybe. I'd settle for two, enough to cover a quick exit. He's not dead. It's a trick. Get an axe. Got a worse grease smell down here than Danny Parker's hair on opening night. What are we doing here for? This place is... well, it's haunted. Seriously, we should get out of here. The security holograms shoot on sight, and you can't even hurt them. We need to get out of here. Come alone if you want. Don't drag me here. Here there's a bell tower and church to the north, filled with ghost people. The cafe survived? How about that? Had great coffee. And one of the waitresses, Rhonda, piece of work. Breath of fresh air in here, literally. If you need to take a breather from the cloud, this is a good spot. Might be a nice place to hole up for a while. Do not leave me here. Salida del Sol. Sunrise. Not much to look at now. Check the fountains. Might have some wishes, uh, chips we can snag. Watch the ground for bear traps and any openings for tripwires. Ghost people. I was already halfway off the rooftop, through the service tunnel and making a break for the gate before the light show started, and before Vida finished her gala speech. I knew what had happened with music in the streets and lights in the sky. Ghost people. Lots of them. Also meant the front gate was open, and no way was I missing it after all these years. Then I walk in, and me... I was halfway off the rooftop, through the service tunnel, and beelining for the gate before the light show started. And before Vera finished her gala speech, I knew what had happened with music in the streets and lights in the sky. Ghost people. Lots of them. But that was your problem. Anyway, front gate was open. No way I was letting you get in first. I walk in... There's a flash, and I'm here. Must have been Sinclair's security. 
He always had a thing about letting any threats into the casino. Security system's twitchy that way. Me, though, I'm a guest here, so I guess I got the royal treatment after all. Pretty as a picture. Uh, Dean, I didn't hear you come in. I'm not wearing my dancing shoes, so I walk a little softly now. What? You think I was a Chinaman? Come to cut your American throat? Dean, really? What? No hug? Come here. Dean, I'm getting ready. You sing like a bird, pop the safe, and we're as through as through can be. Dean, I just... about tonight, I... I don't know. You don't know? I ask one simple favor of you, and you tell me no. I didn't say no. I just said that I don't think... You're right. You don't think. I don't need you. I'll send you back to the farm, worse off than you were, because you'll have seen the Sierra Madre and had to let it all go. I could have gotten any leggy dame out of Hollywood to get out here and play Sinclair's heartstrings. You just happened to be the one I caught, and it was really your own fault, a little too much into the chems and meds and... Oh, shh, don't cry. Look, I'm not trying to hurt you. Just one last little job. A little less dirty. A little less messy. He trusts you, Vera. And so do I. After this, I promise you, all those other holotapes, they'll go away. Of course, Dean. Uh, Dean, I didn't hear you come in. I'm not wearing my dancing shoes, so I walk a little softly now. What? You think I was a Chinaman? Come to cut your American throat? Dean, really? What? No hug? Come here. Dean, I'm getting ready. You sing like a bird, pop the safe, and we're as through as through can be. Dean, I just... about tonight, I... I don't know. You don't know. I ask one simple favor of you, and you tell me no. I didn't say no. I just said that I don't think... You're right. You don't think. I don't need you. I'll send you back to the farm, worse off than you were, because you'll have seen the Sierra Madre and had to let it all go. I could have gotten any leggy dame out of Hollywood to get out here and play Sinclair's heartstrings. You just happened to be the one I caught, and it was really your own fault, a little too much into the chems and meds and... Oh, shh, don't cry. Look, I'm not trying to hurt you. Just one last little job, a little less dirty, a little less messy. He trusts you, Vera. And so do I. After this, I promise you, all those other holotapes, they'll go away. Of course, Dean. Hold it together, Dean. You've been in worse jams. Like uh, Madrid. Christ, Madrid. How long you think you can keep dancing around out there? Song's going to end soon. You along with it. Hurry, would you? Get me out of this mess. Going to sue my agent for this. You won't get out of here alive. Even if you reach me, you don't have the guts to fight. Get me out of here, they've got me trapped. I'm calling the tune here. This is my theater, my show. I've waited my life to get back here. You? Not even worth the time it'd take to kill you. That audience better lay low, get a feel for the crowd. <laughs> Theatre's almost the same as it was. Hey, you found my old room. I mean, it's a little small. And hey, watch the hands in there. I remember where I left everything, got it? Hey, guess who finally showed? You weren't on the guest list. Guess I'll need to call security. Have them show you the door. Don't do it. Leave that projector alone. I'm warning you. Oh, man, nice job. 
Good thing I was distracting them while you flicked them off. We're a good team. I run the show while you run the box office. What the blazes, piece of junk. You rigged that terminal, didn't you? Didn't want security showing you out, eh? We'll see. So, you think you have what it takes to beat me on my stage in my town? Come on down, we'll see. Got to say this for Sinclair. He sure knew how to keep things locked down, the tight-assed prick. Mm. It is almost the same as it was. Good thing someone walks in here, they're toast. This place hasn't changed at all. Need some help here. And that audience is not looking friendly. I am out of here. Well, not to the villa, just out of the damn theater, first chance I get. Wonder what happened to the suckers. Might have gotten taken away like I did. Hope my partner fared better than I did. Better not have left me high and dry. Get evens, not going to be pretty. Not going to be performing here again, that's for sure. First time on stage in a hundred years, and it has to be this. Where the hell did everyone else go? So, can't leave well enough alone. Have to enter Vera's room. Some things are better left in the past, partner. All right, now calm the audience down and let's go home. And when my part plays, no cracking jokes. That was the hairstyle back then, all right? Hmm. Maybe I can shut down these ghosts using the stage manager's old term. Damn it! Well, so much for that idea. Now, now, that's my room. You want your own dressing room? You have to work for it. You, partner, are you a sight for sore eyes? Unfriendly crowd tonight in a lethal way. If you could calm the house down, I'd be grateful. Hey, you're making real progress. Good. Uh, look, that's Vera's room. So careful what you touch in there. Be respectful. Hey, those scars. What happened? Somebody, something carve you up or... Damn shame. Hate to think of someone put you in there. Who bailed you out again? The new guy? Interesting. Look, you obviously hear good, even if you aren't much of a talker. Don't get me wrong, that's a plus in my book. Still, are you getting any shred of your voice healed up, or... like anything? So, what's your story, beautiful? Don't, uh... don't talk much, do you? Mm, all right, then. I'll just wallflower it over here. Look, you obviously hear good, even if you aren't much of a talker. Stop looking at me, you idiot. I can hear your stomach growling from here. I don't like it. That a bet you want to take? Because I'll see that and raise you a few bullets to the skull. I hope you've got this one under control, because he's giving me a nasty itch on my trigger finger. Why are you so carved up? That a bear trap on your arm? Uh, wait. So you're not just slow, you're screwy, too. Some crew we are. We are never getting into the Sierra Madre. Don't like the way this guy is looking at me. You better be his leash. Where the hell did you get this one? Dog? What, so you don't forget your name? A little slow, huh? Ah, uh, Dean. Dean Domino. I live here. All right, pal. You stay in your corner. I'll stay in mine. Do not leave me alone with this thing. Is... is this thing on? You hear me down there? Trying to help you out here. Disable the speakers, play a little music. And that's more like it. Got a beat you can swing to. And they won't set off your collar anymore. Just hit that guy where it hurts. And that's more like it. Got a beat you can swing to. And they won't set off your collar anymore. Just hit that guy where it hurts. I used to know a ventriloquist with more skill than you. At least he had the sense to know his own name without carving it into his chest. The truth, buddy, is this. You and me were now family as long as we got these bow ties on. 
So watch your mouth, you don't scare me. Sierra Madre's mine. My heart's right where it belongs. Sounds like you need your hearing checked. Sierra Madre, it's meant for me. Dean Domino. Entertainer, singer, thief. Had his last show on the Sierra Madre stage. The heist he spent over two hundred years planning fell apart, just as the first, by underestimating his partner's strength. Not long after the courier left the villa, the lights in the theater shut off one by one. Only Dean's hologram remained on the stage, singing silently to an empty room. Still, as consumed as he had been with its riches and ruin, the Sierra Madre had held him captive long ago. Dean Domino, entertainer, singer, thief, explored the Sierra Madre not long after he was rescued by the courier. Once he left the theater, the Sierra Madre recognized him as a guest, and many doors opened to him. He had to admit it had been built to last. During his search, he came across the final records of Vera and Sinclair and realized what happened the night the bombs fell. He felt strangely sad for a moment, and he had no idea why. Shrugging it off, his mind turned instead to where the courier had come from. Vegas still survived, out there in the Mojave. Its sights, sounds, and casinos, ripe for the taking. So, giving the Sierra Madre one last nod and a wink, he set off beyond the cloud to begin again. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead. A bright, shining monument, reaching out, luring treasure hunters to their doom. An illusion. It's letting go. Fine, fine. Don't want us both blowing up, anyway. Jackpot. Just couldn't mind your own business. Sierra Madre is playing tricks with me now. Forget this. Let's focus on getting into the casino. They're cutting through this like paper. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Lost, but not forgotten. Now, where did you go? Nice finish. Leave them wanting more. Let me whip up a special cocktail. I hear you. You sure? I mean, look, you can't just tell me to walk now, you know. That's, well, not very friendly. That's a relief. I mean, not like I care. I'm fine on my own. I can't say it hasn't been fun. Well, I can, but I'll save it for my memoirs. Lose the second stringer, and I'll make the time. Strike up the band. Domino's back in town. Music to my ears. Get a porter carrying someone's bags. Not my style. This crouching's hell on my knees. Boxing's not really my thing. I prefer the gentle touch. But all right, it's your show. All right. Enough gum flapping. Madre's not getting any younger. If that's all, let's shake a leg. Yeah, right. Oh, you're serious? You bet. I'll be sure to cover you. Don't you worry. Tactics? What, we going to get into a shootout soon, or...? Like dancing with your shadow. Sure, let's jaw all day and all night. Why not? Oh, you bet. I'll flank them. Might take me a while, though, so you just hold tight. All you trust me. You're the one who dragged me out of my apartment, so yeah, I'm keeping close. So what? Style's not something you just change, friend. Fine. Tactics means stay out of sight around here anyway. Let's steal. That don't be long. Great. Spilling my guts out to everybody. Uh, could use a little boost here. I'm bleeding green here. Any ideas? <coughs> Back like a bad habit. Thought they'd bailed. Madre is playing tricks on me. Whoever it is, they're gone. Guess they skedaddled. Sounds good to me. Sounds like we got a tourist. What was that? 
Of course. It was getting too quiet. Going to need a hand here, partner. I'm not one for church, but there's a bell tower to the north that has a nice view of the Sierra Madre. Well, did, anyway. You smell gas? I smell gas. Might be a valve nearby. We can use it to torch any locals that come near us. Surprise these homes weren't robbed blind, folks leaving the key out like that. If only the Sierra Madre had done the same. Now there's a view. Hello, beautiful. Let's head through the hole in the wall there. If we go backstage, we avoid the locals. If your marker's right, think the roost we're looking for is to the southeast. I am all about keeping low in this section of town. So let's see about creeping by the locals, all right? Ah, aren't the trees lovely this time of year? All blooming and green. Nice spot for sunning. Well, if the sun ever touched here... Don't be ridiculous. Point that somewhere else, will you? A little party favor before the grand finale. Watch where you're chucking those things. Springs back in my step. Feeling the music. Time to make some music. Strike up the band. Just wanted a little peace and quiet. Great. Yeah, that's the sweet stuff. Song and dance might work better than what I've got. Still out there. I can hear you moving, whoever you are. What are you doing that for? Fine. Let's settle this. God damn it. Batting a thousand. That's us. Used to open in Paris. Paris. Now this. Can't believe I left the apartment for this. Time to cash this one out. Can finally park in handicapped spaces now. Guess a fat lady is singing somewhere. You win, Sinclair. So much for the Sierra Madre. Vera, sweetheart. See you soon. Valor, you're up. Discussion and me, we're out of here. Let's bring down the house. Ah! <clears throat> Still looking. Although I'm all for following suit and leaving. Vanished like a Maxis act. Bullets all cashed out here. Ah! Get a rug. Put me out. Something. Don't dive in for too long. Only so much I can do to help. I can help you in the cloud. Not for long, though. Greed took the others. Go on. Keep it. I'll get it back eventually. If you find a place to pawn that, go right ahead. Feels like someone played my head like a trombone. Don't want to repeat that number. What are you waiting for, Rubble Strike up the band already. Careful when you do. You think the villa's bad now? You haven't seen anything yet. Come on, partner. So close now. Stage is set. Strike up the band. Just get ready to run when you do. I sure will. Think the villa's bad now? You haven't seen half the hell this town can raise. All right, then. I'll just wallflower it over here. Hey, those cars. What happened? Somebody, something, carve you up, or...? Damn shame. Hate to think of someone put you in there. Who bailed you out again? The new guy? Interesting. Don't get me wrong. That's a plus in my book. Still, are you getting any shred of your voice healed up, or... Like anything? So, what's your story, beautiful? Don't, uh, don't talk much, do you? This place hasn't changed at all. Wonder what happened to the suckers. Might have gotten taken away like I did. That audience. Better lay low, get a feel for the crowd. Good thing someone walks in here, they're toast. First time on stage in a hundred years, and it has to be this. Hmm. That is almost the same as it was. Where the hell did everyone go? Need some help here. And that audience is not looking friendly. Hope my partner fared better than I did. Better not have left me high and dry. Get even's not going to be pretty. I am out of here. Well, not to the villa. Just out of the damn theater. First chance I get. Got to say this for Sinclair. He sure knew how to keep things locked down. The tight-assed prick. Not going to be performing here again, that's for sure. You think it was spring, the way tourists keep rolling in? Well, that one's got a head on their shoulders. For now. 
Hope that tourist is hurrying. Haven't got all day. At least this one seems like a straight shooter. Poor sucker. That tourist crosses me, they'll regret it. Even if they don't, they still might. Town's going to be filled with ghosts when the sky lights up. The linked collars is a new trick. Can't say I like it much. Waiting for the fireworks. Just like last time. Can't wait to see their faces when they find out what the lock is. Just gotta wait them out. Place is going to be swarming with the masks when the sky lights up. Not much time to get to the gates before they shut the door and turn folks away. Should never have set that radio signal on repeat. We'll see who's holding the cards in the end. Didn't come all this way to get conned by some tourist. The joke's on you, partners. You aren't getting to the prize without me. Oh, this is a fine how do you do? Should have blown up that seat cushion right when they sat down. Would have been a better end than this. Just finish the last job, Dean. It's all you've wanted. Just hang in there. Keep your head down, Dean. Don't let the locals see you. Sinclair, you better appreciate all I do to screw you over. That tourist is better than most. Uh, it probably won't matter. Holy Mary, Mother and Joe. Now there's a show. All right now, I'm out of here. If the ghost people didn't know we were here before, they know now. Someone struck up the band. A band of tortured cats. What kind of casino has two grand openings? This is your last hurrah, Sinclair. I promise you. Just my luck. Luck's finally shining down on me. You wait, beautiful. Keep that gate open for me. Dean will be there soon. Sierra Madre, sweetheart. Dean's coming home. Uh, wait. So you're not just slow, you're screwy, too. Some crew we are. We are never getting into the Sierra Madre. Don't like the way this guy is looking at me. You better be his leash. Where the hell did you get this one? Dog? What? So you don't forget your name? Stop looking at me, you idiot. I can hear your stomach growling from here. I don't like it. That a bet you want to take? Cause I'll see that and raise you a few bullets to the skull. I hope you've got this one under control, because he's giving me a nasty itch on my trigger finger. Why are you so carved up? That a bear trap on your arm? A little slow, huh? Ah, uh, Dean. Dean Domino. I live here. All right, pal, you stay in your corner, I'll stay in mine. Do not leave me alone with this thing. Sierra Madre's mine. My heart's right where it belongs. I used to know a ventriloquist with more skill than you. At least he had the sense to know his own name without carving it into his chest. Sounds like you need your hearing checked. Sierra Madre, it's meant for me. The truth, buddy, is this. You and me were now family as long as we got these bow ties on. So watch your mouth, you don't scare me. <laughs>